Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside the medicine. Continue to read the Iliad by Homer. I'm going to continue to read. Just standing there, dumbstruck like fawns, down in front, hightailing over some big meadow, winded and teetering, heart inside them spent. Standing there, dazed, your life, fighting spirit dead. What are you waiting for? You want these Trojans to pin you against your high sterns, beached in the surf, to see if Zeus will stretch his hand above your heads and save your craven lives. So the commander ranged Achaeus' ranks and brought them into line, moving on through the crowds. He found the Cretans arming for combat now, ringing above Idiomenius. Strong as a bow, he urged his frontline troops as Marinus brought the rear battalions up. King Agamemnon, thrilled to watch them work, was quick to salute the chief and sing his praises. You are the one I prize, Idomenus, more than all our ideal fighters. Fast with the chariot teams, whether in war or action of my sort. Or feasts where the ranking Ajib warlords mix their bows with the shining wine of kings. What if the rest of all the long haired Achaeans drink their measure of? Your cup stands filled always, brimmed like mine when the wheel steers you to drink. So now drink deep of battle, be that, that fighter you claim to be in all the years gone by. The Cretan Captain Idiomenius answered warmly, Trust me, I try, count on me, your comrade. Staunch as I swore at first, that day I bowed my head. Now, fire up the rest of your long-haired Achaeans, on with the fighting quickly. The children broke our binding truce just now, death and grave on the men of Troy, hereafter. They were the first to tremble on our fat pact. Hearing that, the son of Atreus strode on. Elated and making way through crowds of troops, he found the two called Ajax. Great and little, both captains armed for attack with a cloud of infantry forming up behind them. Think how a gathered off on a mountain lookout spots a storm cloud moving down the sea. Bearing down beneath the roots of the west wind and miles away, he sees it building black as pitch. Blacker, whipping the witch cap, full hurricane fury. The herdsman shudders to see it, drives his flock to a cave. So dance the battalions, grouped behind two items, packed, massed with hardy fighters dear to the gods, battalions back and bristling shields and spears, fighters sweeping into the breaking storm of war. And King Agamemnon, thrilled to see that sight, sped them on with a rosing flight of praises. Ajax, Ajax, chiefs of the Argives, arm in bronze, no orders for you. It's wrong to incite you to. You lead your men to war in so much force. Father Zeus, Athena, Apollo, if all my fighters had such courage pounding inside their chests, we'd bring King Priam's citadel crashing down. In an instant, sacked at our hands, annihilated. He spun on his heels and left them there in place, heading for other ranks and came on Nestor's next, the clear speaker of Pylos, posting troops, readying them for action, combat unit forming under the lanky Pagagan, Alastor and Chromius, Hemon and Stocky Beers, skilled captain of armies. Forward, he ranged the charioteers with teams and cars backed by infantry close behind them. 
Meaning brave men, the defensive line of battle. That would be their role, but the known coward he drove amidst the center. A man might cringe, but he'd be forced to fight. And first he gave his drivers strict commands to rein their teams back hard and never panic. No following them in the onslaught. Let no man so sure of his horsemanship and soldier's power prowess dare to fight it out along with the Trojans. Exposed in front of his lines, no heroic now. But give no ground, the charge will go to pieces. And any charioteer who reaches Trojan chariots Thrust your spear from your own car, do not throw it. Better that way, it's tighter, stronger fighting. So men before your time storm the walls and the cities, holding fast to that tactic, warring on that with heart. The old soldier spurring his men with skills from a lifetime spent campaigning battles long ago, and King Agamemnon thrilled to see his efforts cheered him on with a flight of praise. Old war horse, if only your knees could match the spirit in your chest, and your body's strength were planted firm as rock, but the great leveler age has worn you down. If only some older fighter had your ears, and you could match with the younger, fitter man. And Nestor, the seasoned charioteer, replied, True, I tried, if only I were the man I was. Years ago, when I cut down rugged Eruthalans, but the god won't give us all their gifts at once. If I was a young man then, now old age dogs my steps. Nevertheless, I will still troop with the horsemen, give them maneuvers, discipline, and commands. That is the right and the pride of us, old men. The young spearman will do the work with spears, younger than Nestor, the next generation up, flush with their fl fresh strength. So, Nestor said, and a choice Ranged forward, glad at heart, and came on Pretio's son, the charioteer, Menestheus, standing idle, and circling him, Athenian man, who could raise the cry of battle. And there, beside them, the great tactician Odysseus, drawn up with his Cephalanians, grouped around him, bands of them, no mean fighters, watching, waiting. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.